Hello, welcome to this Context Capture tutorial, retouching part 3 of 3. In this tutorial we will use automatic mesh cleaning functions, first by detecting and managing automatically holes, and second by detecting and managing floating objects. In the end we will save, quit and update existing production. In TouchUp tool user interface, I will go on the left and select the mesh cleaning icon. Here I will first focus on the holes and start an automatic detection of the holes. It finds automatically three defects. I can scroll through them using the arrows and say whether or not it's a defect and occasionally fix it. Those two first ones are not defect. The, the third one is possibly a topology issue I aim to fix. In such case, on this very local area, the mesh will be reprocessed. I can zoom back to global view and now focus on small floating components. Same workflow, I will start detection and here I have 19 defects mentioned. Maybe I just want to focus, to focus on the biggest one, so I will reduce the minimum size of object I want to identify. I now only have two of them. Again, I can scroll through them or decide to fix them all, but if I need to scroll through them, I can remove this first floating artifact, and same for the second one. This is a partial tree, I don't want to see it in my reality mesh, I can fix it. Once I'm done, I can zoom back to global view, save my work, save the changes, and go back to Context Capture Master. There, I will check my production, Right click and submit update so my production considers my touch up. Thank you for attending this context capture tutorial, retouching part 3 of 3.